Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering Python dictionary. I will explain various methods and various operations that can be performed on Python dictionary. Guys, I have uploaded complete Python programming subject tutorials. I will provide link in description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Dictionaries are used to store data as key value pair. I will give an example. Same like set, we represent dictionaries in curly braces. So open curly braces. Inside this, I am writing name. Name is Ramesh. Where name is string and Ramesh is string. So we need to represent them in double quotations. So take double quotations for name and Ramesh. Where this name is key and Ramesh is value. And we separate them by using colon symbol. And I am giving comma. And next I am taking another key and value like rule number. Where rule number is string. So take rule number in double quotations. And again give colon. And I am giving rule number as 21. Where 21 is integer. So there is no need of taking double quotations. Close curly bracket. This is example of dictionary. Dictionaries are used to store data as key value pair. Where name is key and rule number is key. And Ramesh is value and 21 is value. Whenever you write print a. Print function is used to generate output inside print I written a so whatever the data that is present inside variable a will be generated as output I will get output name Ramesh comma rule number 21 though you write name Ramesh and rule number in double quotations in output it will represent name Ramesh and rule number in single quotations Python dictionaries are ordered that means in which order you give input, in same order you will receive output. At first I written name Ramesh and after that I written rule number 21. In output, at first it will display name Ramesh and after that it will display rule number 21. Length function is used to identify length and type function is used to identify data type. So I written here print length of A and print type of A. Total there are two objects. One object is name Ramesh and next object is rule number 21. In this, name and value together act as single object. And similarly, rule number 21 act as another object. So, whenever you write print len of a, you will get output 2. And next, type function is used to identify data type. So, I will get output class dict, that is dictionary. Python dictionaries do not allow duplicate values. For example, I written name Ramesh twice, here and here. Though you write name Ramesh twice, in output it will display name Ramesh only once. For example, if you take key twice, here key is name. I written name Ramesh and similarly I took key name again and now I am writing here Raju. First key contains name Ramesh and second key contains name Raju. So whenever you run this code you will get output name Raju because if you take same key with two different values it will consider only last value. Here first value is name Ramesh and last value is name Raju. So it will consider this Raju and whenever you run this code you will get output rule number 21 comma name Raju. Python dictionaries are ordered. So at first it will print rule number 21 and at last it will print name Raju because it replaced Ramesh with Raju. Next I will explain what is use of dictionary constructor. By using dictionary constructor you can convert multiple variables and values to dictionaries. For example here I written a equal to inside dictionary function I written name Ramya comma age right in comma country India where this name is variable and Ramya is value. Now by using dictionary constructor you can convert multiple variables and values to dictionaries. So I took here dictionary function. Whenever you run this code you will get output in the form of dictionary. So you will get output name colon Ramya comma age colon right in comma country colon India where all these are strings so it will represent them in single quotations. This is how we convert variables and values to dictionaries by using dictionary constructor. Next I will explain how to access items in dictionary. For example, here I written a equal to name Raju comma age 18. By giving key, you can find value. So just write here a of name and close square bracket. And I want to get output. So you will get output by using print function. So write here print. Whenever you run this code, you will get output Raju because key name contains value Raju. So whenever you give key name, you will get output Raju. For example, if you write here print a of age, then you will get output 18 because I given key age, so it will display value 18. Instead of writing a of name, you can also write like this. Print a dot get. Inside get method, you need to give key. I am giving key here name. So Raju is my output. You can use get method or else you can also write variable name a. Inside square brackets, you can give key. This is one more example. Here I written a equal to name Ramya comma age 18. Whenever you want to generate output, then definitely write print function. 
So inside print function, I am writing a dot keys. This a is variable name because my dictionary is present in variable a. So definitely write here a dot. And by using keys method, you can find keys present in dictionaries. Total there are two keys. One is name and another one is age. So whenever you run this code, you will get output dict underscore keys. That means dictionary underscore keys. And inside square brackets, it will represent name. One key is name comma another key is age it will represent this in square brackets whenever you write print a dot keys this is my output and similarly if you want to print only values then by using values method you can print only values so just write here print a dot values where keys and values are methods so definitely you need to take brackets so i took brackets here and whenever you run this code you will get output dict underscore values bracket inside square brackets it will represent values it will represent only values what are values kamya comma yaitin whenever you use keys method it will display only keys and whenever you use values method it will display only values and it will represent keys and values in square brackets that is in the form of list and there is one more method that method is items method just write here print a dot items where items method will return each item in a dictionary this name ramya is one item and age item is another item it will represent each item as tuple in a list this is output this is use of keys method values method and items method now I will explain how to change values present in dictionary for example I want to change this value ramya to rajesh so just write here a give key where key is name so write here key name in square brackets that equal to now i want to change this ramya to rajesh so just write here rajesh whenever you write print a now you will get output name rajesh and age 18 this is my output next i will explain how to add both new key and value to the dictionary this is example here i written a equal to name ramya comma age 18 now i want to add one key and value now i want to add rule number 512 so just write here a of rule number where rule number is string so take this in double quotations that equal to 512 so whenever you write print a you will get output name ramya age 18 comma rule number 512 this is my output this is how we add new key and value to the dictionary instead of writing like this you can also use update method just write here a dot update by using update method you can add both key and value to the dictionary so just write here a dot update inside update write rule number i want to add rule number 512 so whenever you write print a now you will get output name ramya age 18 and rule number 512 by using update method you can add both key and value in a dictionary next i will explain how to remove items in a dictionary there are three ways to remove items in a dictionary. First one is by using pop method and next one is by using pop item method and last one is by using del keyword. At first I will explain how to remove item by using pop method. This dictionary contains name Ramya and rule number 18. Now I want to remove name Ramya. So just write here a dot pop. By using pop method you can remove items. I want to remove name Ramya. So just give here key where key is name so write here key whenever you write a dot pop of name it will remove both key and value so whenever you write print a you will get output rule number 18 because it removed name ramya so it will display only rule number 18 next i will explain how to remove item by using pop item method pop item method will remove only last inserted item here last item is rule number 18 so it will remove only last item so just write here a dot pop item so pop item is method so take brackets so whenever you write print a you will get output name ramya so it removed this last item that is rule number 18 this is use of pop item method next i will explain what is use of del keyword for example i want to remove this name ramya so just write here keyword that is del del is keyword not function or method so there is no need of taking bracket just write here del that is delete a of i want to remove name so just write here name so whenever you write print a you will get output rule number 18 by using del keyword you can also remove complete dictionary so just write here del a so whenever you write del a it will remove complete dictionary so whenever you write here print a you will get output error because we already removed dictionary dictionary is not available so it will display error when you write print a 
there is one more method that method is clear method by using clear method you can remove all items present in dictionary so this is example here i want to remove all items present in my dictionary so just write here a dot clear whenever you write here a dot clear it will remove all items present in dictionary this is use of clear method whenever you write print a you will get output it will display only curly braces because we removed all items present in my dictionary. You can also copy dictionary from one variable to another variable. Let this variable A contains dictionary name Ramya and age 18. Now I want to copy this dictionary to variable B. So just write here B equal to DACT of A. By using DACT constructor that is dictionary constructor you can copy dictionary to another variable. It will copy dictionary which is present in variable A to variable B. So whenever you write here print B you will get output. Now this variable B contains name Ramya and age 18. So it will print name Ramya and age 18 whenever you write print B. Instead of writing B equal to DACT of A you can also use copy method. So instead of writing B equal to DACT of A you can also write like this b equal to a dot copy by using copy method you can copy data which is present in variable a to variable b so you can also write b equal to a dot copy this is one more example here i written a equal to name ramya comma age 18 comma country india now i want to print only keys one by one you can do it by using for loop so just write here for x in a where x is variable in a now i want to print only keys one by one so inside for loop write print x whenever you write here print x you will get output at first it will print key name after that it will print key age and at last it will print key country this is how we print only keys present in my dictionary next i want to print only values so just in place of writing print x write here a of x next i will explain nested dictionary if you write one dictionary inside another dictionary then we call it as nested dictionary for example here i written a equal to Inside dictionary, I am writing name Ramya, comma, rule number 21. And similarly, I took name Rahul, comma, rule number 51. Now, inside this dictionary, I am taking another dictionary. So, just I am representing this in dictionaries. Name Ramya and rule number 21 in one dictionary and name Rahul and rule number 51 in another dictionary. Let this student Ramya belongs to section 1. So, just write here section 1 in double quotations. Where section 1 is string, so take this in double quotations and column. And similarly, this Rahul belongs to section 2. So, just write here section 2 column double quotations inside this dictionary i written another dictionary that is name ramya rule number 21 and another dictionary name rahul and rule number 51 this is how we represent nested dictionaries if you write one dictionary inside another dictionary then we call it as nested dictionary whenever you write print a you will get output section 1 name ramya rule number 21 in one dictionary and section 2 name rahul and rule number 51 in another dictionary